episode of Tea Time with Maya. I'm Maya and today's video is going to be about <coughs> making strawberry lemonade. Um, and I made a strawberry lemon tea um, last week so I have made this one with no cooking so it's gonna be a little different. Um, and so I've done a lot of strawberry things but I'm still gonna give you like a basis of what strawberries do. Um, they improve your complexion, strengthen your teeth, they're great for your eyes, um, rich in nutrients, they boost immunity, um, promote hair growth, and reduce inflammation. So they do a lot and they're really commonly in your kitchen. And it's strawberry season. Yes. Okay guys, so um, you're going to need a sprig of mint. This is berry mint. Um, then you're going to need a naked lemon. <laughs> because <laughs> the skins are over here <laughs> and then you're going to need some strawberries and um for those of you that don't know this about me i am a biology student so i got into cooking because science that was literally the only reason so i only like <laughs> cooking with science if it doesn't involve science it's not really fun to me so i learned that the reason why sugars pull the water the liquid the juice out of strawberries is because it pulls the water through the cell walls of the fruit. And this is a process called osmosis. So anytime you do this, you're doing science. <laughs> it's like everyone else like, I'm now gonna stop now. <laughs> and so now the strawberries are soaking in their own juice and that's why the juice is red. Ooh. Like this involved no cooking. So usually when you make like a strawberry syrup, you put it on the stove and you cook it down and then it turns into this. But this happened with only white sugar, white sugar, and maybe a couple of strawberries and they broke down. So really cool. Um, and so with your lemons, what you're going to do is you're going to peel them with a knife if you don't think you'll be able to get this without cutting yourself, that's okay. You can just cut them in thin slices and then put them in instead. I've done both ways, both ways work. Um, so what you're going to do for your um, lemon pills is you're going to take some sugar and you're going to pour it on it. And again, we're gonna do osmosis again. <laughs> it's like no one else finds this cool. Okay. Mom, tell me to stop whenever. Stop. Okay. And then we're going to stir this with a spoon that I will find. Okay, and so you just move it, stir it a little bit. You don't add any water. Um, and we're just gonna let it sweat for a bit. This is gonna be the longest part of the entire process. So just stirring it a little, try to get the, um, the peels completely covered in the sugar because again, the sugar is what does the osmosis. Without their skin, they crush really easily. And if you want to go the extra step, you could just drop your lemon in here. But we are going to put it in our compost. We would show you, but no. <laughs> I don't think anybody wants to see compost. <laughs> so I said we would show you, but okay. Oops, got a little bit of juice. Okay, guys. So the sheer amount of juice did not come from the osmosis, but it now has the flavor. And now we are going to add water. Um, we had to add a little bit more sugar because with the lemon and the tartness of the lemon, we didn't want to lose the sweetness. Now note, when you're making this, the sugar, the strawberries have sugar and so do the lemon. What we're going to do first is we're going to pull our lemons, lemon peels, out of... We're going to pull our lemon peels out of the bowl and then put them in by themselves. And I'm thinking this is to lessen splash. All right, guys, so now we're pouring in the lemon sugar juice. For okay, guys, we're gonna put this in the jar now. So now we are putting our mint in. Um, if you don't know, if you slide your hand across it, you can take the mint off faster. You go against the way they're facing and they slide off. 
This works much better when it's dry. <laughs> I was thinking that, but okay. So now we're going to add some water and then we're going to swish it like this until it reaches our desired height. For us, it is usually right here. So, okay guys, so this is the swishing motion I mentioned. And you're doing this to stir the sugar and combine it. Um, so this was the desired height we reached um, because we do, we're not sure about our sugar content. Yeah, we don't want it to be too sugary. And we don't want it to be tart yeah. or dull. What's the word? Yeah, or watery. Thank you, that word. Okay guys, it hasn't had time to chill, but we're going to taste it nonetheless. In my measuring cup. It's very refreshing. The measuring cup adds an extra height. <laughs> it's very good. Um, I've noticed that. Is it sweet enough? Um, we might need a little bit more sugar. Okay. Um, but I've noticed that after it goes in the refrigerator, it does get sweeter. Um, as it gets colder, it seems like everything just starts coming together. Um, so be careful with that when you add sugar, <laughs> because after you put it in the refrigerator. Yeah, but it is very good. It's a nice, almost summer drink. Um, so, it's 83 degrees here. Yeah, and it's also really great for Juneteenth. Even though we are far out from it, it would be a great oh, Juneteenth yeah. drink. So, haha, I could get right on that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and so I hope this video was helpful. Um, please like, share, subscribe, and press the bell for notification. Bye, guys.